And as the final notes of the national anthem waft through the rafters here at the Woodpeck Center, we're getting ready for this basketball game. Emory coming into this one with a 6-2 and two record. The Barry College Vikings coming in with a 7-1 and one record. Barry coming off a very exciting win, 82-81 over Oglethorpe on a last-second buzzer beater by Elijah Hurst. And, of course, Emory coming off a very big win over LaGrange, which was the 200th career victory for Coach Jason Zimmerman. Let's quickly again set the starting lineups. First for Barry College, they're going to go with Corey Johnson. Number two, a 6'1 junior out of Decula, Georgia, along with Ethan Haslam. 6'4 junior out of Lithia, Florida. Elijah Hurst, their leading scorers, averaging 17 points a game. 6'8 senior out of Woodstock, Georgia. Also in that starting lineup for Barry College, Quinn Atkinson, a senior, 6'3", 230-pounder out of Spanish Fort, Alabama, averaging 10 points a game. And Miles Moore, the point guard, senior, 6'1", 170-pounder out of San Antonio. For your Emory Eagles, the starting lineup looks like this. Roman Williams, number 15, he's averaging 17.4 points per game. Lawrence Rowley, number 14, a sophomore, 6'5", 200-pounder out of Ypsilanti, Michigan. He's averaging 15 points and nine rebounds per ball game. Jabari L. Beatty, number 24, a senior, 6'2", 180-pounder out of Morristown, New Jersey. He's averaging 11 points and 3.8 rebounds per game. Senior Bo Bomarino, 6'3", 190-pounder out of St. Louis, Missouri, averaging 3.5 points and three rebounds per game. And wrapping up the starting lineup for your Emory Eagles, Matthew Snare, a sophomore, 6'4", 195-pounder out of Boca Raton, Florida. He's averaging 11.3 points and 6.8 rebounds per game. We're getting ready to tip this one off. Coach Jason Zimmerman giving his final instructions to his team as he gets this one going. As I mentioned, this is part of a five-game home streak for the Emory Eagles. They've played three so far, two so far. This is the third out of five. They won both here at home. they got a couple of more after Christmas before tipping off conference play. So big Lawrence Rowley is going to jump center for the Emory Eagles. He's a 6'5", 200 pound sophomore out of Ypsilanti, Florida, or Ypsilanti, Michigan. He is ready to go. Jumping center for Barry College will be Elijah Hurst. He's 6'8", 220 pounder out of Woodstock, Georgia, and he's a senior. Handshakes all around. Barry College in the blue jerseys. Emory in the home white. And we are getting ready to tip this one off and play a little basketball here on a Tuesday night in Atlanta, Georgia. Earlier this week, a big parade for the Atlanta United, the soccer team, as they won the MSL championship. And now we're underway here. It's great to be young and to be an Emory Eagle. And quickly, a three-pointer tossed up there by Roman Williams. No good rebound by Atkinson. And here come the Barry Vikings. Miles Moore with it, number 11. He's the point guard. He'll handle the ball and run the offense throughout most of the game today. Haslam now. Around they go. Anderson trying to look it inside. Haslam with it. Comes back outside. Trying to work it into their leading score. Number 22, Hirsch backs in, puts it up. No good, gets his own rebound. Snare fights him for it and comes away with it. Great effort by Matthew Snare there. Emery on the fast break. Bo Bomarino now brings it into the paint. Dishes it off down low. Back outside, they got to come. Roman Williams now. Rally top of the key. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Nice spinning move. Bo Bomarino can't quite get it to go. And there's no score here after the first minute of play here at the Woodruff PE Center. Barry College drives in, and there's the first hoop of the game. It's number five, Ethan Haslam. He hits for Barry College, and it's 2-0 Vikings. Snare. Top of the key. Roman Williams with it. Working for the good shot. Baseline. Three-pointer wide open, and that's a good one. Number 32, Matthew Snare hits the three-pointer. Gives Emory its first lead of the game at 3-2. Emory picking up with a little full court pressure, trying to create some turnover possibilities. Moore with it now. Running the show. He's checked by Jabari Beatty. And a steal. The senior takes it in. Slam jam. Number 24, Jabari Beatty put an exclamation point on it. 5-2, Emory takes the lead. Good defense, good recognition, good anticipation. And Jabari Beatty with the steal and the monster two-handed slam jam. 
That woke up a few people here in the rafters. Hirsch now playing away from the basket. That's where they'd like to keep him. Inside it goes now to Hirsch. He puts it up, no good, tips it up, and in. You're not going to slow this guy down too much. He's averaging 17 points a game. He's 6'8", 220 pounds. He is a load. He played at the King's Academy in high school there in Woodstock, Georgia. Might have some fans from Woodstock checking him out tonight on the Internet uh, feed. The Emory Broadcasting Network. Here we go, top of the key. Bo Bomarito down low it goes. Snare dishes it off nicely to Lawrence Rowley, who picks up a foul there, so he'll be going to the line shooting a couple. Emory on the season. Good shooting free throw team, 77% as a team. Lawrence Rowley, he's averaging 81% from the charity strike. He hits the first. 6-4 Emory now with the lead. Lawrence averaging 15 points and 8.9 rebounds per game. A little too hard on that one. But Emory's lead is two at 6-4. Moore with it now. Bringing it across the timeline. Running the offense. Drives into the paint. Looks for some place to go. Has to come back outside to Haslam. Haslam drives in left-handed. Puts it up. Puts it in. Tie game 6-6. Both these teams can score. I was looking forward to some of the matchups. Long range to Burial Beatty. Bringing his A game tonight. 9-6, a three-pointer and that big monster slam jam. Boba Marita with the rebound, quickly out. Williams with it. Shoots it outside, long ranger snare. No, a little bit too hard, but Bo Marita with the great offensive rebound. Comes back outside, three-pointer, no good. Great hustle by Roman Williams. Nobody blocked the shooter out. That's rule number one in basketball. Block out the shooter. Well, Roman Williams tossed up a three-pointer. Nobody blocked him out. He just went and battled for the rebound, and he was able to knock it off one of the Vikings. Substitutions coming in now, number four. Dawson Weehunt checking in for the Vikings. Snare with it. Nice dish to Rowley. Good two-man play. Roman Williams to Rowley. Emory now with a five-point lead, biggest of the game at 11-6. Nick Stuck has checked into the lineup. He's guarding Drew Cummings, who just checked in for Barry College. Johnson with it now, trying to go back door. Can't quite get it to go. Atkinson with it, left-hander, three-pointer, tosses up an air ball. Roman Williams right there, long pass to Rowley. It's tipped away by Barry College. And when the dust clears, Johnson's got it. Up ahead to Drew Cummings. Johnson now trying to work off a pick. Elijah Hurst is also in there, number 22. Finger roll, no good. Beatty battling inside, can't get it to go. And it's Emory basketball. And checking in for Emory. Number 21, Matt Davitt. And he's one of those super saw subs that comes off the bench. Matt Davitt, number 21, is averaging 16.9 points per game and 6.3 rebounds per contest. So he'll inbound to Nick Stuck. Jabari Beatty already with five points for Emory on a three-pointer and also that big two-handed monster slam jam. Davitt with it over to Snare. Emory with some guys that can shoot three-pointers. Snare being one, they work it inside to Davitt. Davitt comes back outside, seven seconds on the shot clock. Davitt from three, right off the bench. And in it goes, Matt Davitt hits. Emory hot from the three-point stripe, and it's 14 to six. Emory now with an eight-point lead. Drew 
Drew Cummings with it. Goes to the side. We hunt. Top of the key. Cummings now drives in. Blocked by the rim. Scooped out of there by Rowley. And ahead quickly to Roman Williams. The dervish. The spinning, whirling dervish that is Roman Williams as he puts it in off the glass. 16-6. Emory with a 10-point lead. 14.09 to go here in the first half. Things going pretty much Emory's way. Cummings goes off to the corner there. Johnson with it now. Pick and roll with Hirsch. Hirsch with the jumper. Hits it. 16 to 8. Hirsch, their leading scorer, averaging 17 points per ball game. He's a good one. Six foot eight. Stuck into the corner. Now to Davitt. Long ranger by Rally In and out, no good. Great offensive rebound by Matt Davitt. Puts the baby hook back up, no good. Then rebounding out of there by Caleb Haynes, who's just checked into the lineup. He's another big guy for uh, Barry College. He's a 6'5 junior, 225-pounder. And he's averaging a double figures, 13.6 points per game. Haynes with the ball now, just checked in. He's checked by David. Both those guys kind of super subs coming off the bench. Left-handed jumpers. Good. Weehunt hits. And that cuts the Emory lead down to six points at 16 to 10. And it goes. Rowley with another one. He's got five points. Emory, 18 to 10. Biggest lead has been 10 at 16 to 6. Johnson with it over to the side. We hunt now. Takes it in. The left hander puts it up and he's hit a couple down. Dawson We hunt. Davitt puts it up and then hits the deck. No foul called. 18 12 your score. Cummings with it, goes across to Wee Hunt. Wee Hunt down inside. Hirsch turns, shoots, no good. Nice rebound by Rowley. Clears it out to Stuck. Nick brings it down, dishes it off. Dab it with it, little baby hook. And in it goes, but there's a whistle and a charge. That's the first team foul against Emory. But 12.04 to go here in the first half, and Emory with a six-point lead at 18 to 12. And we've got some massive substitutions coming in for both groups. Jabari Beatty, number 24, back in the lineup. Number three, Luke Morrison checks in. He's a 6'4", 190-pound sophomore. He's averaging 6.1 points and two rebounds per game. And Bo Bomarito's checked back in. Trey Falconer's in there. He went to high school at Woodstock High School. Nice move by Caleb Haynes, who puts it up and in. And that cuts the Atlanta lead to four at 18 14. Atlanta had the 10 point lead at 16 to 6. Driving down, lays it up, lays it in. Nick Stuck saw an alley, big as a highway, and he drove right down the lane and put it up and in. Trey Falconer now to Haynes. We hunt with it, the left-hander. He gives it up to Moore, who's checked back in, the point guard who started the game. Long ranger, no good. Long rebound to Jabari Elbady. Looking for someone to give it to. Comes back at the Stuck. Stuck, top of the key now. Mason Johnson has checked in for Emory. Beatty with five points. Three-pointer and that big slam jam off the steal. Stuck. Fires the jumper. A little bit too hard, no good. Great hustle there by Bo Bomarito. Keeps it alive. Keeps it on Emory's court. Beatty drives in, puts it up, no good. Mason Johnson tipped it in, but there was a foul beforehand. Fouls on number four. We Hunt, that's his first. And Jabari Beatty goes to the line where he is a 90% free throw shooter.
And for Beatty, he's shooting the second. Gets it to go, 22-14. Emory now with an eight-point lead. Quickly down court come the Vikings. Moore with it. Running the offense, trying to run the show. Emory moving their feet, playing the good aggressive defense. Falconer goes inside, back out to Moore, hits the three. Miles Moore, 22 to 17. Just when Emory tries to break it up a little bit, back come the Vikings. Roman Williams now on the side. Jumper, no good, a little bit too hard by Mason Johnson. Moore with it. Goes cross court. Trey Falconer now. Inside it goes to two-man play. No good by Haynes. Rebound out of there by Mason Johnson. Roman Williams takes it. Dishes it off nicely to Bill Bomarito. The sophomore to the senior. And it's 24-17. Moore gives it up to Trey Falconer. Haynes with it now, trying to go inside. Falconer checked by Beatty. Moore three-pointer. No good, a little too hard. Battling underneath. And Mason Johnson comes away with it. And we got a blocking foul called on number 11. That's Miles Moore. It's the team's fourth. And some more substitutions coming in and out as Coach Jason Zeroen giving guys a long looks today. Lawrence Rowley checks back in. Matthew Snare checks back in. Tiberi Beatty's in there. Roman Williams is in there. And Bo Bomarito's in there. Long range. Good. Roman Williams with the three-pointer. 27-17. Back to a 10-point lead and a steal. Emery with a good defense. Barry creating the turnover. Dished it out. Bomarito, no good. A little bit too hard. Great rebound by Rowley. Tipped out of there by number five, Ethan Haslam. And it's going to be Emory basketball underneath their own hoop. Emory shooting four of eight from three-point range. 38.4%. To Barry Beatty with seven points leads the way. Rowley has five points. Roman Williams has five points. Snare has four points now, three-pointer in that free throw. And Emory with an 11-point lead. 28-17. A little bit too hard. And Emery with another quick score. 30 to 17, largest lead of the game. And that's good. Elijah Hurst, their leading scorer. He's averaging 17 points a game. He hits. Make it 30-19. Long Ranger by Rowley. Lawrence Rowley puts it up and in. A three-pointer to make it 33-19 and a big 14-point lead for the Emory Eagles. Rowley's a big, strong guy. But he can bang inside and he can shoot from outside. Trey Falconer now with the basketball. Checked by Beatty. Emory kind of in a matchup zone. Jumper, no good by Hirsch. Rebound. Just a little bit too much mustard on that pass by Roman Williams. Jabariel couldn't hang on to it and goes out of bounds for a turnover. 7.24 to go here in the first half. Emory with a 14-point lead, 33-19. That's their biggest lead of the game. Barrel Beatty, the leading scorer with nine points for Emory. 
Well, let's check out by the numbers here. Number one, Emory UAA rank in points, 93.1 points per game. How about that? Free throws, 76.8 points per game, and assists, 18.1 points per game. That's numero uno. Number four, number of games where Emory has 10 or more three-point field goals, and they're 4-0 in those games. 16, Roman Williams game streak of three-point uh, field goals, 15th longest in Emory history. 18 career double-figure scoring games for Matt Davitt, and 300, the number of games Jason Zimmerman has coached at Emory University. This is number 300. He's got 200 wins and 552. Make it 53 games now with a three-pointer. 33-19, Trey Falconer trying to get the ball inbounds. In they come. Emory picking up some full court pressure. Falconer back with it. Trying to get it inside to Haynes. Won't go, so they come back out to Cummings. Falconer now. Haynes. Top of the key, trying to get it inside. Emory doing a great job of defense. Six seconds to go on the shot clock. They're going to steal. Stole it away. And Roman Williams takes it coast to coast, lays it up, lays it in, and gets the foul. So a chance for a three-point play for Emory as Emory takes a 35-19 lead. Roman Williams averaging 17.4 points per game. He's a 67% free throw shooter. He'll try to make the three-point play, and he does. 36-19, 17-point Emory lead, biggest of the game. Backdoor pass. They come back out. Falconer from three. No good. A little short clean out of there by Matt Davitt. Quickly ahead to Stuck. Nick brings it down, looks for a lane. Davitt brings it a little bit closer and hits the jumper. Matt Davitt, number 21. 6'7", sophomore. 38-19. Emory by 19 points. Biggest of the game. And it's going to be Barry College on the side. Trey Falcon is going to take a seat now. In comes number 12, Ethan Clark. He'll trigger it in. Looking to get it to Moore. Can't get it to him. And he calls timeout real quick. Good pressure defense by Emery. And before a five-second turnover, they cleverly call timeout. to go on the shot clock. They're going to steal. Steal. With the steal. And the window and puts it in and hit the three-pointer for a three-point play. Amory playing great defense, and that's turning into a lot of easy buckets on the other end. Don't forget Jabari Beatty had the big steal and the big two-handed slam jam earlier in the game. Emory also hitting very high percentage shots with the three-point arc. And it's cruised out to a 38-19 lead. Barry Old Beatty with eight points. He has nine. Roman Williams has eight. And again, Ethan Clark having a little trouble getting the ball inbounds. Emory playing good defense. Clark's got it now. Brings it across the court. Gives it to Moore. That's who they want to have the ball in his hands. Goes back door. Hassel now drives in. Comes back to Moore. Moore lays it up and in. Makes it 38-21. Roman Williams now McNair. Drives in. Gives it up. Beatty from three. No good. Rebound by Haynes. Moore quickly brings it up. He just hit a layup. And he's fouled on the drive in. Emory with just four team fouls so far. 
541 to go here in the first half. Moore's going to go to the line where he is an 89% free throw shooter. Miles Moore, 6'1 sophomore out of San Antonio, Texas. He's their point guard. He averages eight points per game and 2.7 rebounds per game. He hits the first one. Barry College is coached by Mitch Cole. It's his first season. And he's won seven of his first eight. Moore hits them both. 38-23, your score now. Barry with a little bit of uh, full court pressure. That's no problem for Roman Williams. Ahead to Matt Davitt, over to the side to Beatty. Back to Schnare. No good. Stolen away. Trying to work it inside to big Matthew Snare, but it's, this just wasn't quick enough to get in there. So a turnover, Moore with it now. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Emory looking pretty impressive. Drive in by Miles Moore, and he hits again. 38-25, your score. Roman Williams, eight points. Down into the corner to Matt Davitt, up to Beatty. Beatty with nine points. He leads Emory in scoring. Snare, inside. Rowley, backs in, puts it up just a little bit too hard. And Javariel Beatty really banging those offensive boards. Couldn't quite get a hang of it, so it's going to be Vikings basketball with 4.36 to go. Emory with the lead, 38-25. Inside they go to Haslam. Now back to Cummings. Emory still in that full court pressure. Haslam with it to Cummings now. Dropping back in kind of a matchup zone. Clark with it. Into Haynes. Haynes is averaging 13 points a game this year coming off the bench. And Cummings traveled with it. So that's a turnover. Emery's ball on the side. Matthew Snare will trigger it in to Roman Williams. Luke Morrison looking for somewhere to go. Goes to David. David drives in, spins, and is fouled. Matt Davitt with five points coming off the bench so far in this game. Matt's averaging 16.9 points per game and 6.3 rebounds per contest. 6'7 sophomore out of University Heights, Ohio. He's an 81% free throw shooter. Mitch Cole checking some people in and checking some people out of his lineup. Quinn Atkinson checks back in, number 30 as does Clark. Matt David hits the first, his sixth point. This is game three of a five-game homestand for the Emory Eagles. They won the first two. They're on their way to winning this one. It's 40 to 35, 15-point Emory lead with just under four minutes to go here in the first half. Let's check out the Emory Berry series notes. Emory leads all time, five victories in five games. First matchup, November 22nd, 2011, and Emory wins that one 95 to 63. The last meeting was the first round of the 1918 NCAA tournament, and Emory won that game 91 to 72. Emory is 3 and 0 versus Berry College here at the Woodpeck Center, so the home hardwood been very good to us. 40-35, your score, 15-point lead for the Emory Eagles. Coach Jason Zimmerman is 300th game as head coach here, looking for win number 201. Emory still with some full-court pressure. They get it into Hirsch. Hirsch is their leading scorer, averaging 17 points a game. 
He likes to play down low in the box, but he's back up in front of the three-point stripe, so that's where Emory would like to keep him. Johnson now to Hirsch. Atkinson with it, trying to make something happen. Drives in one-on-one, -on -one and he gets it to go. Quinn Atkinson, he's averaging 10 points a game. He's a 6'3 senior out of Spanish Fort, Alabama. So he cuts that Emory lead to 13. Long Ranger, Matt Davitt with a dagger. Makes it 43-27. Emory with a 16-point lead thanks to that three-pointer. And then Atkinson coming right back with back-to-back -back hoops and a little dipsy-doo. 43-29. Give and go. Matt Davitt can't get it to go. That's too bad. That was a nice play, a nice pass in there. Matt just couldn't capitalize there. 43-29, 2.47 to go here in the first half. Johnson with it. Stolen away by Matt Davitt. Ahead quickly to Jabari Albady, who keeps it, puts it up. It's knocked away, and he's fouled. No, he's not. They must have called traveling down there. Looked like someone grabbed Jabariel's arm, but evidently they said he was up and down with it. So turnover for Emory, 43-29, and Berry College with the basketball. Clark with it now, driving into the lane, checked by Beatty. Lob pass stolen away. Good anticipation by Matthew Snare. That ball's knocked away. Roman Williams had it. He was trying to go into the corner. Trying to get it to Pierre Coffey, who's just checked in there. Put that one up. Couldn't get it to go. And Pierre will play a little defense here on Moore. Johnson with it. Goes right for the hoop, puts it up, and puts it in, and gets the foul by Jabari Obeidi. Lawrence Rally getting ready to check back in. And Jabari Obeidi, who picks up his second foul, is going to sit down the last minute, 54. No, nothing gained in letting him stay out there and maybe picking up his third. Pierre Coffey is a 6'1 sophomore, 185-pounder out of Connecticut. Number two, so he's out there on the floor getting his first playing time tonight. Snare with it. Give and go. Rowley puts it in. Nice pass by Roman Williams. A little give and go. And Rowley puts it up and puts it in. He's got 10 points on the game, as does Matt David, who came off the bench and has got 10 points. 45-31, 14-point lead. Emory's biggest lead was 19. There's another bucket by the Vikings. Cuts the lead to 12. Long range, in and out. Emory crashing the board. Snare was battling. Rowley was battling. Davitt was battling. And a foul is called on number two. That's Corey Johnson. That's the team's eighth. And Lawrence Rowley's going to go to the line. Minute nine to go. Pretty good first half for Emory Eagles. Had a big lead of 19. Barry College has only led one time. They hit the first bucket of the game. They led 2-0. And from that point on, Emory has either been tied or in the lead. Bo Bomarito checks back in. Matt Davitt takes a seat. And Rally a little bit too strong with that one. Haynes with the rebound. Gets it up to Wee Hunt. Wee Hunt checked by Bo Bomarito. He's got those big, long arms. 45 33. Emory with a 12 point lead. Clark drives in, and Clark's hammered. I think they're going to give that foul to Rowley. 
Though Roman Williams is right there with him, step for step and foul for foul. Matt Davitt getting ready to check back in. Clark hits the first. That's the lead to 11. So why, if you just look at the score, it seems like Emory's been in total control. Every time they get a pretty big lead, back comes the Vikings. Clark hits them both. So it's a 10-point game now, 45-35. Emory led by as many as 19. Quickly down court and quickly in the hole is Roman Williams, number 15. 47, 35, 38 seconds to go, 22 on the shot clock. No good, Hirsch puts it back in with the second effort. 10 point lead, 47, 37, 20 seconds to go, Emory will play for the last shot. Beatty, Williams, and Davitt all with 10 points here in the first half for Emory. Long Ranger, no good. Emory battling with the rebound. Davitt puts it up. It's off the mark. And as your first half comes to an end, it's Emory with the lead by 10, 47-37. Your score, let's check out the leading scores right off the bat. Lawrence Rowley has 10 points. Roman Williams has 10 points. Matt David has 10 points. DeBerry L. Beatty has nine. Matthew Snare has four. Nick Stuck has two. Bo Bomarito has two. And that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles. For the Berry College Vikings, they are led in scoring. Mike Miles Moore has nine points. Elijah Hurst has eight. And Quinn Atkinson has six. Those are your three high scorers for the Vikings. So at the break, it's 47-37. The Emory Eagles with a 10-point lead, and we'll be back after these messages from Emory in the NCAA. medicine specialists at Emory Healthcare treat more world-class, professional, and college-level athletes than anyone else in the state. We'll treat you like a pro and get you back in play. Our transplant program began in 1979, transplanting just a few patients. We've grown tremendously over the past decades. Today we celebrate our 5,000th transplant patient, and we transplant more than 430 bone marrow or stem cell grafts every year. We had a huge unmet need. We had most of our patients with acute leukemia and aplastic anemia were dying as a consequence of those diseases. These patients were starting to be rescued with bone marrow transplantation. What we had here at Emory was a strong leukemia program. And when I started on the faculty in 74, 
uh, my mentor was uh, Ralph Vogler. Initially, there was a lot of there were a lot of skeptics, particularly when the numbers looked so poor at the beginning. But uh, there were converts, very early converts here. Uh, Dr. Vogler and myself felt this had a great future. And then. Uh, these are the folks that process the marrow. There's the nursing staff, which is, in my opinion, probably the most important part of the whole operation. We go in and spend 10 minutes a day with these patients. They spend hours. And the nitty-gritty details that they take care of and the emotional support they provide for these people is just immeasurable. When I first started, um, I worked weekends only and had just done one transplant a year. We did not have the, all the technology we have today. And back then, we isolated the patient in one room. They were not allowed to leave the room. It was a team effort. We had one nurse that um, worked weekends. She would put tacks on the bottom of her shoes and she would tap dance down the halls. It gets better the bigger it is and the more people you have involved. And then the the nice thing that happened to Emory was we were able to bring in some really good people from the outside that were uh, well established in, in this field and of course Rain Sorrell was one of the major finds. In 1991 we brought a team that consisted of people who worked in the laboratory, people who were translational um, physicians, that is they tried to take what we learned in the laboratory and put it into clinical practice to improve outcomes for marrow transplantation. I was recruited to Emory in 1994 by Rain Sorrell, and I was really hired to help build the scientific platform that would support stem cell transplantation. It was an exciting time. We, we really took off uh, fairly rapidly over a year or two. We saw a great opportunity. Uh, we seized it and uh, started a program which now, 25 years later, is one of the major programs in the United States. The um, care of the patients have changed so much. We, we have so many more meds now for nausea. Over the years with modification and an understanding of the potential complications, we can manage people a lot better today than we did years ago. Hey, Neil, how are you? March 19, 1998 was my bone marrow transplant day. And uh, the only reason why I'm here today is because there were a couple thousand before me. I feel a real sense of community in that. Uh, we've all kind of gone through something here. There's about a third of us on the unit now that um, have been together for 15, 20 years plus. We do look out for each other and we will celebrate um, birthdays. We will celebrate, we have people leaving. We will celebrate. We'll celebrate anything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Our doctors have had years of experience in treating patients, and each of us have transplanted hundreds of patients. We've seen every possible condition occur in one or more patients, and we've gained a familiarity with the problems of transplants and the ways to address those problems to restore patients back to health. You know, I think we're giving people a second chance, and for most of the people on this floor that get a transplant, this is really the only option for them. And so I think that's what keeps us all going. Oh, there's a lot of pride, though, that we're hitting 5,000 now. We've grown so much. I mean, it's a long way from one or two a year. I probably could retire if I wanted to, but I don't want to. We probably know too much about each other as it is. So uh, we've grown up with each other. Um, I consider this my family, my second family. It's gratifying to feel that I've made a difference, uh, not just for science, but for actual lives of patients. Oh, this is a big thrill. I mean, this, this is death-defying uh, treatments. We can cure somebody, particularly somebody that has many years left of good quality life. That's one of the biggest thrills in, uh, in my, my career.
Welcome back to Emory University men's basketball. We are at halftime of the Emory Berry College game with the Emory Eagles leading at 47 to 37 over the Vikings. Let's check out some of the halftime statistics. Some things that just kind of jump out at you for the uh, Berry College Vikings. They shot 53.3% from the field, 16 of 30, but just one of seven, 14% from the three point arc, and they hit four or five free throws for 80%. Your Emory Eagles, they shot 17 of 38 in the first half for 47.2%. They also hit 6 of 17 three-pointers for 35% and 7 of 10 free throws for 70%. Emory out-rebounded Berry College 21 to 15 in the first half. Uh, Emory had 8 assists to Berry College's 3. Uh, Turnover-wise, Emory forced 7 turnovers while uh, Emory just had 5 turnovers. And in terms of steals, Emory had 6 steals to where Barry College just had three. So right now we are at the half, about a minute to go before the first second half tips off, and Emory has the lead at 47-37. Let's check out some of the scoring. First for your Emory Eagles, three guys already in double figures. Lawrence Rowley with 10, Roman Williams with 10, and Nick and uh, Matt Davitt came off the bench. He has 10. Also with some excellent effort, Jabari Albady, he has nine points. Uh, other scores include... Uh, Matthew Snare, he has four. Bo Bomarito has two. And uh, Nick Stuck has two coming off the bench. For Barry College, they were led in scoring by the nine points of Miles Moore. Their point guard, Elijah Hirsch, he has eight. He's their leading scorer from the season. He's averaging 17 points per game. Quinn Atkinson also with six points, and those are the three leading scorers for the Berry College Vikings. So right now, Emory up by 10, 47-37. Emory 6-2 on the season. Berry College is 7-1 on the season. We are in the midst of a five-game home streak. Home stand here at the Woodpeck Center, the Woodruff PE Center. And uh, right now, Emory has won the first two. They are halfway through the third game, and there's two more after Christmas. This will be the last game uh, for the men's basketball team before finals. That cracks up uh, tomorrow and goes for about a week or so. So finals and then uh, back at it late in December. And then, of course, the conference uh, tips off in January. Right now, the big story in the UAA is Rochester. They are 7-0 and and ranked uh, 15th in Division Three right now. So we'll see how that all shakes out as the... Uh, season goes along but right now the Emory Eagles have the basketball they have the lead at 47 37 and let's see if they can get up on momentum going here in the first five minutes of the second half Barry College comes out in a man-to-man -man defense Beatty with it blows past his guy wide open no good it is snare and uh, here comes Barry College. Checked by Roman Williams. Emory playing man to man now. They play that matchup zone and quickly Miles Moore hits. And this is as close as Barry College's has been in quite a while. Nice shot by the senior, Jabariel Beatty. It's always great to see the seniors step up when things get a little closer. Emory playing that full court pressure. Haslam with the basketball now. 49-39 your score. Atkinson top of the key. Haslam with it now. He's trying to drive. He can't get around Boba Morito who plays this excellent team defense. Three-pointer, though, by Atkinson, and it's 49-32, 42-7 point Emory lead. Rally now onto the side to Bomarino, into the corner to Snare. To Rally, wide open. To Barry Beatty says, I can get a little closer, and he throws up the high rider, wanting run hander. And Beatty's fired up and playing very well here in the start of the second half. He's got 13 points to lead everybody. And there's a foul on Rowley. That's the team's first here in the second half and his second. 
Emery tries to trap. Atkinson has it. He feels he's hot, and he almost was. That hit a lot of the rim, but came out. Barry Obeyde takes it to the hole, gives it up. Nice pass. Nice dish to Matthew Snare, who lays it up and in, and Emery with an 11-point lead again. Little breathing room. 53-42. Atkinson with it. He's had a couple of hoops here, tipped away. It's going to be Barry College basketball. 17.46 to go here in the, in the ball game. Emory 6-2 on the young season. Barry College 7-1 under their new coach, Mitch Cole. Barry College coming off a very exciting 82-81 win over Oglethorpe where Elijah Hirsch hit the game winner at the buzzer. Emory coming off a win over LaGrange, which was the 200th career victory for Emory coach Jason Zimmerman now in his 12th season as the bench boss of the Eagles. The court's cleaned off. Snare's going to challenge the inbounds pass. Comes back out to Atkinson. He's got a couple of hoops this half. And there's Moore, the point guard and leading scorer. Anderson with it to Haslam. Backing in, backing in, backing in, and Elijah Hirsch is fouled. He's their leading scorer, and he's just a big physical presence in there. I mean, he's a senior. He's got all the years of experience. He's 6'8". He's 220. He's out of Woodstock, Georgia. He played at the King's Academy there. Good free throw shooter, 83%, and he bagged that one. So 53-43, Emory with the 10-point lead. It's always been a comfortable lead, but eh, not that comfortable. Misses the second. 53-43, your score right this second. Inside it goes. Snare with a great back and out on the pivot, and he hits 55-43. Matthew Snare really playing some good basketball here. Red-shirted last year. There's Haslam driving in. Haslam scores, and Haslam picks up the foul. Fouls on Rowley again. That's his second. The team's third. Caleb Haynes now checks in, the 6'5 junior, who's averaging 13.6 points per game. He only has two points, so they've done a pretty good job of holding him down, but hits the three-point play there, and it's 55-46. Atkinson, who's really played well here in the second half, and then a traveling call. So not only has the Emory lead been sliced and diced down to seven points, then the turnover with the full court pressure. Atkins at number 30 has 11 points. He had six in the first half, so he's got five already here in the second half. Wide open, wide open is Caleb Haynes who lays it up and in. He's averaging 13.6. He got that nice dish there. Roman Williams, great dish. And Matthew Snare who couldn't convert, but he's going to go to the free throw line. Emory now 55-50. This is as close as it's been since it was 18-14. Emory led by as many as 19 points in the first half. Matthew Snares, a 6'4 sophomore, 195 pounder out of Boca Raton, Florida. 62% free throw shooter, hit both of those, and Emory needed both of those. 57 50 now, your score. 16 43 to go in this one. Miles Moore with it, he's their point guard, he runs the show. Haslam with it, trying to go inside. Atkinson got five points this half. 
Shot clock running down. Six seconds. Moore's got to put it up. Has to force it. Haynes with the rebound, and Haynes puts it in right before the buzzer goes off. 57-52. Haynes hitting those offensive boards for uh, the Vikings. Emery now. Barry College in a man-to-man rally. Little dipsy do Finger roll won't go. That was George Gervin used to do the finger roll for the San Antonio Spurs back in the day in the ABA and the NBA. And Lawrence's finger roll didn't quite get the job done. It's 57-52, Emery's ball, but just a five-point lead. Nick Stuck now checks into the lineup, as does Matt Davitt. Roman Williams is out there. Matthew Snare is out there. Jabariel Beatty's out there. So those are your five guys in white. Stuck over to Roman. Now going against the zone defense into Davitt. Davitt, nice bucket inside for the big guy. 59-52. Matt Davitt now with 12 points. Clark with it. Clark gets it over to stolen away behind the back. Roman Williams doing his thing and then the no look pass. Snare keeps it alive. There's Roman Williams. He is fouled and goes down hard. And Nick Stuck is quickly over there to pick up his teammate and say, you're not hurt. Get up there to the free throw line where he's going to shoot three. Coaches just pull out all their hair when you foul a guy shooting a three-pointer, but Roman Williams is going to shoot three, and he hits the first. He almost made it a four-point play. The bucket almost went. There's two, two for two. Roman's shooting 67% from the fee from the free throw line this year. He's Emory's leading scorer at 17.4 points per game, and he hits all three, three for three. That gives him 13 points on the day, and Emory picking up full court. 62-52, 10-point lead. A little more breathing room. We hunt with it to Moore. Atkinson out there, Clark's out there, and Haynes is out there, and those are your five guys in blue. We hunt now to more inside to Haynes. Haynes, big burly guy, a little bit too hard off the glass, but he's fouled inside. They're going to call that one against Matt Davitt. That's going to be his second. And that's going to send number 24, Caleb Haynes, to the free throw line where he's a 77% free throw shooter. This guy shoots 74% from the field hasn't made or tried a three pointer but he's shooting 77% from the free throw line he hits the second one 62-53 nine point lead Barry College putting some full court pressure on Schneer brings it on across himself gives it to Stuck quickly into the corner Snare just couldn't get the handle on that. He lost his balance, and it went off his knee. So the ball's going to go over to Barry College. It's going to be Wee Hunt tossing it in. Emory playing that full-court pressure. They're making Barry College work for every point they get. Moore gets it to Atkinson. Atkinson over to Wee Hunt. Miles Moore with it. He has 11 points. Atkinson has 11 points. Those two guys pace Barry College scoring effort. Emory has four guys in double figures already. And there's Haynes just bowling his way in for the high percentage shot. I said he was shooting 73% from the field. That's why he shoots high percentage ones. Great shot in. Snare almost with the tip, but he couldn't quite get it to go. So the score remains 62 to 55. It's going to be Emory basketball under their own hoop. Haynes now takes a seat. Number 22, 
Elijah Hurst, their leading scorer, averaging 17 points per game, comes in. Stuck has to go somewhere, comes to Davit. Davit quickly from three, just a little too hard, but right on track. Great pass by Rowley, and then an offensive foul on Davit. That's going to be his third. And Coach Jason Zimmerman says we're going to send in Bo Marino, and Matt's going to have to take a seat here for just a second. Matt with a great effort out there. your score, 13.46 to go in the game. It's going to be Barry College. Matt Davitt has 12 points for uh, Emory as he takes a seat. We hunt with it. He can shoot from three. And so can Moore. Moore drives in off balance. And they're going to give it back to Barry College. There was no foul called. The ball kind of just was up there, and they said it went off at Emory Eagle. Which one, I don't know. Snare challenging the inbounds pass. Wehunt gets it in. Quick double team. Almost a steal by Williams. Clark from three. Almost a banker, but no good. And another whistle. And it's going to be against Emory. It's on number 32, and that's his first. So Weehunt's going to again check it in from underneath his own hoop. Again, they try to double-team the shooter. Nice rebound by Nick Stuck. The point guard almost finds Snare down the field, but not quite. Then another long pass stolen away by Stuck. A little bit of a raggedy up and down, up and down. And then there's a whistle. And I'm not quite sure what the whistle was for up here. No foul was called. So it's going to be Emory basketball. It's 62-55, 13 minutes to go in this basketball game. Nick Stuck has the ball. He's looking to dish it off in closer. No, he takes the baby hook, and Nick Stuck hits. Nick Stuck sticks it. 64, 55, little baby hook. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar might have started that way. Clark going behind his back, lobs it in, stolen away nicely by Matthew Snare, ahead to Roman Williams, who quickly goes up, and then that's almost an intentional foul by Miles Moore. He just grabbed the, the arm and the ball and everything else and said, we're not going to let... Roman Williams have an easy one here, so they foul him before he shoots, so it's going to be Emory basketball underneath our own hoop. 64-55, 12.40 to go. Roman Williams is going to trigger it in. Goes into the corner. Long Ranger, no good by Bo Von Marino. Battle, scramble. Bo comes up with it. Quickly to Jabari Beatty, who comes back out to Bo, same spot. Second time, it won't go. Hit a lot of iron. Ball bouncing around again. Emory with another offensive rebound. Roman Williams has it. Almost throws it away and maybe does it. Hits the back side of the backboard. But they're going to say it last touched a Viking, so it's going to be Emory basketball. Matt Davitt checks back in. Remember, he has three fouls with 12-19 to go. Roman Williams has 13 points. Matt Davitt has 12 points. Barry Beatty has 13 points. And Snare has 10 points. So four Emory Eagles in double figures. Matthew Snare picks up the foul there, so he's going to go to the free throw line. He's a 67% free throw shooter. He was a red shirt last year. Makes the first. Coach Jason Zimmerman says he's a really good shooter. He's a very well-rounded player. He sees the court very well. 
And he does just a lot of good things when he's out there. 10-point Emory lead. Again, Emory's had a 10-point lead throughout a lot of this game. It just seems that when we get a 10-point lead, they come bouncing back. Here's Roman Williams bursting down there, laying it up and in. He's got 15 points, and Emory has a 12-point lead. Nice steal and hoop. One-man show by Roman Williams. There's Hurst bowling his way in, backing his way in. Almost an offensive foul there, but he banks it in, and in it goes. He has 11 points. He's averaging 17, so he's got 11. Long rebound now to Moore. Caleb Dallimore has checked into the lineup for uh, Barry College. Atkinson checks back in. And Moore's going to be at the free throw line. Moore clangs it off the iron, no good. 10 point lead, 67 57. 11 and a half minutes to go. Luke Morrison has checked in for Emory. Nice little dish and a nice little hoop. Lawrence Rowley, he has 12 points. Atkinson wants it. He's backing in, backing in, doing his one-man show. Still has it, still drives in. Puts up kind of a wild one-hander. And Emory, with a 12-point lead, has the basketball. Jabari Beatty brings it down. He's checked by Atkinson there. Outside to Roman Williams. Top of the key to Davitt. Rowley with it now. Stolen away. And it's Weehunt with the basketball. Comes up to Moore, the point guard. 69-57. Clark with it now. They try the backdoor play, and it goes off Atkinson, and it's going to be Emory basketball. So with the score 69, 57, Emory with a 12-point lead. We've got a timeout, the first timeout of the second half with the score, Emory 69, Barry College 57. Let's take a look at the UAA records. As I said, Rochester 9-0 overall. They're ranked in the top 15. Emory 6-2. Brandeis 6-2. Case Western 6-2. Chicago's got a winning record, as does Washington University. NYU 3-5, and, and Carnegie Mellon is 3-6. The uh, conference play will begin in January, and Emory spends the first couple of weeks on the road. So they once the uh, conference starts... Emory won't be back here till mid to late uh, January with a home game. But that's how it stands up right now. And Rochester, with that 9-0 record, is leading the way. Of course, Dr. Michael Vienna and Joyce Jaleel, they head up this great athletic program here at Emory University. They've helped lead Emory to 25 NCAA titles, 195 conference championships in the UAA, 184 academic All-Americans and 112 NCAA post-grad scholars. So it's a very proud program with a lot of history and a lot of history of winning and a lot of history of winning championships. In this men's basketball program, Jason Zimmerman has had nine consecutive winning records and six straight trips to the NCAA tournament, including one to what I like to call the grade eight, other people prefer the Elite Eight, but I like the Grade Eight a couple of years back. Nick Stuck now with it. Emory up 69 to 57, 12 point lead, 10 minutes to go in this basketball game. Long Ranger by Roman Williams, no good. Great effort by Stuck to keep it alive, but it comes out to the blue clad Barry College Vikings. Moore with it. Moore with 11 points. Comes back out. Long lob pass. No good. Comes back out to where it started from. It was Haynes into Hurst, and then Hurst out to Haynes, and then 
There's Moore putting it up and in for his 13th point. 69-59, 10 point lead and stolen away. Emery a little careless with the basketball. Two on one fast break, it comes to Clark. Clark with three, nope, comes back outside. Haynes drives in, Hurst gets it and Hurst is gonna go to the free throw line. 69-59. As I said, it's been kind of a weird game. Emory has had the lead throughout most of this game. The only lead by the Vikings was at two to nothing, first hoop of the game. It was tied at 6-6. Emory then built up a 19 point lead in the first half. Led at the break by 10, 47-37. But you just know that if uh, Barry College gets on a big run, they can make this a ball game again. And again, right now the lead is cut to eight. That's 69-61. Emery with the ball, with the lead. Clock is their friend, but Barry College just giving him a fit here and a fit there. Rally with it. He's hitting double figures already. So is Jabari Beatty. He drives the hoop, puts it up, puts it in. You like to see the senior take charge there. And there's DeBerry Beatty. He's got 15 points. And we've got a timeout on the field on the court with a score 71-61 with nine minutes to go in this basketball game. Let's take a look at the Emory scoring leaders. Roman Williams pacing the team, 17.4 points per game. Nat David, who gives the team just a great Spark off the bench. He comes off the bench. He's averaging just a whisker under 17 points a game. Lawrence Rowley starting this year as a sophomore. He's averaging 15 points and is the team's leading rebounder. Matt Snare, red shirt last year. This year, 11.3 points per game. Very impressive. And Jabari Beatty, he's averaging just a whisker under 11 points per game. So those are your leading scores. Let's check out your leading scores in terms of tonight's game. Roman Williams has 15. Javari Beatty has 15. Lawrence Rowley has 12. Matt David has 12. Matthew Snare has 11. So five guys, five Emory Eagles in double figures. Nick Stuck has four points. Bo Bomarito has two. And that's your scoring for your Emory Eagles for the Vikings, they've got 13 points by Miles Moore, 13 points from Elijah Hurst, 11 points from Quinn Atkinson, and those are their three guys in double figures. Emory with 71, Barry College with 61. Emory is averaging 93.1 points per basketball game. Emery with the full court pressure, Moore with it. Brings it across, checked by Roman Williams. Emery in a man-to-man -man defense. They press full court and then fall back to man-to-man. -man. Haynes tries to muscle his way in. Atkinson tries to muscle his way in. Pushes off a little bit there. Nice dish off to Moore who puts it up and in. Atkinson with a nice pass. Moore put it up and in. Moore's got 15 points. And the lead is back to eight, 71-63. And it looks like Jason Zimmerman might have picked up a technical foul there. He might not have liked how Atkinson was moving people around before the pass. I'm not really sure, but then whatever it is, the referee said, Coach Z, you can't quite say it that way. And he got a technical. So that allows Barry College to cut into the Emory lead. It's now just seven points at 71-64. Emery's ball, Schneer checks it in to Williams. Williams down into the corner. Beatty wastes no time and hits a three-pointer. To Barry old Beatty, time and time again, tonight and this season, has hit crucial hoops just when Uncle Momentum seems to be drifting the other way. He hits a big hoop to get it back on track. 74-64, eight minutes to go. Hirsch again moving people around and then it's Haynes with the rebound and putting it back up and in. So they've got their tall lineup in there right now. 
and it's a strong, beefy bunch inside, and they're moving people around. And they've got a turnover here. So the Vikings are going to get the ball back. With Emery's lead now at 8, 74, 66, 750 to go. More with it. Haynes now to Atkinson. Atkinson trying to work it back into Haslam, but no, he's covered up. Atkinson with it, shoots the three. In and out, no good. And we got a rebounding foul. And I think it's going to be against Emery. That's going to be on Lawrence Rowley. That's his third personal foul. Five Emory Eagles in double figures, paced by Jabario Beatty's 18. At the line right now is Caleb Haynes. He's a 6'5", 235-pound junior. He's a 77% free throw shooter. He hit 73% from the field, so... He's shooting high percentage shots in there. In and out, no good. The Vikings' leading scorer is just taking a seat. Hurst, so he's averaging 17 points a game. And he's taking a bit of a breather right now. And he misses both of them. Quickly ahead to Roman Williams. Roman takes it to the hole. No good, but a rebound slam jam by Lawrence Rowley, who timed it beautifully and slammed it right back up and in. Lawrence Rowley now with 14 big points. Right back come the Vikings, and that was Haynes muscling his it way in for another two points, 76-68. No good, battling inside, snare with it, puts it back up, and nope, won't go again. It's Roman Williams battling for it inside. It's an eight-point Emory lead. It's going to be Emory basketball underneath their own hoop. Roman Williams will trigger it in. Matt Davitt checks back in. Matthew Snare is out there. Jabariel Beatty is out there. And Pierre Coffey comes in. So those are your five guys in white jerseys. So Roman Williams is heading to the free throw line again for the second time tonight. Fouled shooting a three-pointer, so he's going to have three free throws. He made three earlier. Makes the first one there. Let's see if he can make two more. That's five for five when he's fouled shooting threes. And Roman Williams gets that one to roll to. A good shooter's roll, 79-68. Roman Williams now with 18 points. He and Jabario Bathy both have 18. Snare has 11. Matt David has 12. And there it goes, 79-70. Snare thinks about it. Pierre with it, goes cross court. To Barry O'Beatty, jumper, 15-footer, short. And it's going to go to Barry College, and the guys in blue are bringing it up with a nine-point disadvantage right now. 79-70, 6.15 to go here in the game. We hunt with it. Looking for somewhere to go. Top of the key. It's Hirsch, their leading scorer, and he just loses it off his hip trying to make a move. So a very timely turnover. And Emery gets the ball right back with a nine-point lead. Williams into the corner it goes. Davitt with it. Drives. Puts it up. And hits. Matt Davitt hits. That's his 16 points on the game. And Emory again with a little breathing room, 81-70. Cummings with it now. 
Calling signals. Goes to Hazlitt on the side. Top of the key there. Leading scorer, Hirsch. Now Cummings back with it. Drives in amongst the tall timber. Turnaround jumper. In and out, no good. Beatty hits it. Hirsch tracks it down and loses the handle. So it's going to be Emory basketball. The Vikings' leading scorer was battling for that rebound. He couldn't control it. It went off him. The Vikings picking up Emory full court, full court pressure. And that's where Emory has such a weapon in Roman Williams. He can just dribble through a full court pressure, which not many teams can do. The way to beat full court pressure is by passing it. But Emory's got a guy that can dribble through it. That ball's knocked out, and they're going to give it back to Barry College. They said that Raleigh hit it last. I'm not sure the instant replay would agree with that, but they're going to get it right now, and here they come. Cummings with the basketball. It's 81-70, 11-point Emory lead with 5.15 to go. Emory 6-2 on the season. Barry College 7-1 on the season. This is the third of five straight home games for the Emory Eagles. Hurst battling, puts it up, a little too hard, no good. Snare with the rebound, and he's fouled. And so now Emory's going to be in the bonus the rest of the way, which is a good thing. That foul's on number 10. That's Drew Cummings. That's his second. Bo Bomarito checks back in. So Bo Bomarito, Roman Williams, Matthew Snare, Jabari Beatty, and Lawrence Rowley are your five guys for Emory out there on the court right now. And Snare hits. He's got 12 points. In and out, no good. Emory's lead stays at 12, 82-70. Emory's biggest lead in this one was 19 points in the first half. They led at the half by 10, 47, 37. Most of the second half has been about a 10-point lead, but Barry College always just hanging in there, making things just a little bit too interesting. Atkinson, nice low pass inside it goes. Cummings from three, and there you go. It's back down to nine, 82, 73 as Cummings hits the three-pointer with 4.30 to go in the game. Beatty now looking for somewhere to go. He's checked by Johnson. Top of the key, snare, snare to Raleigh. Raleigh has 14 points. Snare backing in, backing in. Nice hook pass to Raleigh. 32 to 14. Beautiful two man play. Raleigh now with 16 points and Emory with an 11 point lead. We hunting out of Atkinson. And again, there's no quit in the Vikings. They keep things just a little too close, a little too interesting for the Emory faithful. Bo Bomarino's got it inside, puts it up, puts it in. The senior from St. Louis, Missouri hits a big key hoop, puts Emory back to an 86-75 lead. With 3.33 to go in this one. We got some instant replay here. Watch this one. In they go. And then the rebound slam jam by Big Lawrence Rowley. We've had a couple of big slams today. Early in the first half, Jabariel Beatty had a steal and a slam. So a lot of exciting action here for the Emory Eagles. They are 6-2 on this young season, trying to get their seventh win. This is the 300th career game for Emory coach Jason Zimmerman. He's won 200 of them, lost 99. We'll see if this is 201 as we go through the last three minutes and 33 seconds to go. Leading scores for Emory, five guys in double figures. Roman Williams has 18. Barry Beatty has 18. Lawrence Rowley has 16. 
Matt David has 14, and Matthew Snare has 12. Nick Stuck has four points, and Bo Bomarito has four, and that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles, 86-75. They're averaging 93.1 points per game. And it looks like they're going to comfortably hit that. So coming onto the court, we've got David, Bo Bomarito, Roman Williams, Matthew Snare, and Jabari Beatty. Those are your Emory Eagles. Eighty-six seventy-five. your score. Emory putting just a little bit of full court pressure on. Cummings with the basketball. Brings it across the timeline. Clark now with it. Inside it goes. That's Haynes. Haynes is blocked beautifully by Davitt. Ahead to Roman Williams who brings it up quickly. He is just so quick on the dribble. Davitt, wasting no time, won't get the roll off the iron and cleared out of there by Hirsch to Cummings. And there's three minutes to go in this game. Emory has an 11-point lead at 86-75. Cummings with it, working off the big pick by Hirsch. He throws it up, no good, too high. Cleaned out of there by Matthew Snare and ahead to Roman Williams. The clock is Emory's friend. 2.43 to go. Emory looking for a good high percentage shot here. Bo Bomarito with it, drives into the paint, comes back outside, snare, spins, dishes off nicely to Davitt. Davitt with the reverse layup, puts it up and in, and Emory increasing their lead at 88 75. 13 point spread, breathing room. Emory fans breathing a little easier. Haslam with it, he's checked by Williams. Two minutes to go in this game. Two. Inside it goes. Haynes trying to bull his way. No. Cummings drives in. Lays it high off the window, and in it goes. And he's going to go to the free throw line with a chance for a three-point play. Cummings has come off the bench to score seven points in this one. Emery has two guys with 18 points. Tiberi Beatty. And Roman Williams. Matt Davitt's come off the bench. He's has 16 points. Matthew Snare has 12 points. And Lawrence Rowley has 16 points. So five guys in double figures for Emory. And when you're that diverse, it's hard to double team guys because other people can score. Uh oh. Steal. 10-point Emory lead, and it's blocked away by Matthew Snare, but I think you're going to get called on the foul. So with a minute 53, Miles Moore is going to go to the free throw line. He's going to get to shoot two. Miles Moore averages eight points a game. He's an 89% free throw shooter here on the season. Bricks that one. He's a 6'1", 175-pound senior out of San Antonio. And he runs the show when he's out there. He's definitely their point guard and the quarterback of the team. Eighty-eight, seventy-nine. long cross-court pass. Beatty has it. Beatty drives in, tries to get it to David. It's tipped away. So it's Emory's ball, 23 seconds to go on the shot clock, minute 45 to go in the game. Emory with a nine point lead. Back out the snare it goes, quickly to Stuck. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Beatty with it, down to Davitt. Roman Williams. Six seconds. Roman Williams going to have to do something with it. 15-footer hits. Roman Williams with 20 points tonight. The sophomore guard, he's a point guard, he's a shooting guard, he's an all-around great guard, and he's a guy that's tough to guard. 
So it's 90 to 79. And let's take a look at some upcoming games. On December 29th, Oswego comes in. That's a 4 o'clock tip-off. December 30th, that's East Texas Baptist, also at 4 o'clock. That's part of the Emory Holiday Classic. And then it gets into conference play. January 5th at Rochester. I mentioned Rochester undefeated, 9-0. Rochester is going to be at Rochester. And Rochester's ranked in the top 15 in Division Three. So that's a pretty tough conference opener right there. Then it goes to Wash U, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then at Chicago on January 13th. So those are your up-and-coming games. The 29th and 30th will be right here on the Emory Broadcasting Network, 4 o'clock both of those days as part of the Emory Holiday Classic. So, 90, 79, minute 20 to go. Atkinson's going to inbounds the ball. Emory's going to pick up full court pressure. It's an 11-point Emory lead. Emory's had about a 10-point lead throughout most of the second half, but it just hasn't been one of those where you feel good like the game is wrapped up. You know, credit Barry College. They keep coming back and coming back. Haslam with the basketball. Moore with it, drives in, comes back out to the top of the key. Haslam drives in, lays it up, lays it in. Ethan Haslam, nine-point lead, 90 to 81. All right, Roman Williams with it, under a minute to go, 45 seconds. Trying to trap him, not fouling. Bo Bomarito with it, and then they foul Bo. So with 40 seconds to go, Emory with a nine-point lead. Bo Bomarito can add to that lead. Five Emory Eagles in double figures tonight. Great overall team effort. A lot of guys got to play. Bo Bomarito hits. Makes it 10-point lead. He's got five points today. And the senior from St. Louis makes them both. 92-81. 11-point Emory lead. 38 seconds to go in this game. Tiberi Albady playing defense on Cummings. That slows him down just a little bit. Back out to the top of the key. Cummings with it, drives into the paint. Finds a wide open Elijah Hurst, who puts it up and puts it in. Hurst with 16 points. He's averaging 17 on the season. He's got 16 tonight. But him, he and his team are not going to score enough. 92-83 is going to be your final as the clock runs down. The Emory Eagles are now 7-2 on the young season. And Coach Jason Zimmerman has win number 201 in his career. As the Emory Eagles win this one, 92-83. Barry College's only lead was a 2-0 early on. They were tied up at 6-6. Emory led by as many as 19 points in the first half. They led by 10 at the half, 47-37. The entire final 20 minutes, Emory had a comfortable lead, though it didn't always feel comfortable. It was always around 10 points, but every so often, Barry College would cut it to 9 or 8 or 7 and just put a little bit of pressure on, but then Emory would always respond. So let's check out the leading scorers for today's game. Roman Williams pacing Emory with 20 points. Jabari Albady has 18. Lawrence Rowley has 18 points. Matt Davitt has 16 points. Matthew Snare has 12 points. Bo Bomarito has six. And Nick Stuck has four. And that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles. For Barry College, they're led in scoring. Miles Moore has 16. And Elijah Hurst also with 16 points. Caleb Haynes had 13. And uh, Atkinson had 13 points as well. So they had four guys in double figures. So the Emory Eagles win it 92 to 83. We are back on the Emory Broadcasting Network at 4 o'clock on December 29th and December 30th, part of the Emory Holiday Classic. So you'll want to tune in for those. Until then, have a great holiday season, and so long, everybody.